Morning. Yep, back in Scotland, in the far northwest corner this time. I'm just parked up in Pool U. I'm going to be setting off to this Corbett, which uh, I'll probably be riding about four miles to the base of it, and then I'll dump the bike. Well, leave the bike, and then I'll start climbing up onto the summit of this Corbett. Should get some great views if the weather keeps up of Loch Marie and uh, the Fisher Field as well. So it's going to be a cracking day looking at the weather at the minute and the blue skies. So I'll just jump on the bike and grab my rucksack and off we go. Starting to climb now. What a day for it. Look at the sun. First view of the mountains. And there's a track where I'm going up, runs up there. It looks like it snakes up. Look at that for a view. Can't wait to get up there. Okay. Starting to feel like we're getting into wilderness a bit now. About maybe a couple of miles in, that's all. Beautiful day again. Okay, crack on. Just come to a split here. You can actually go that way, I've just been looking on the map. But I'm gonna go this way. So I'll follow this track right up. Okay, I'll just grab a quick drink and then crack on. come up this track here so it's more or less flattened off now there's the view I'm getting look at that wilderness okay carry on What a stunning view of Loch Marie. Still on this track for quite a while. Looks like I'm going over there on that track there then, cutting off. All the Torridon Mountains. Okay, this is where I turn off. It looks like I might be pushing a bit up here. <laughs> Definitely pushing now. <laughs> Pretty tough route this. And maybe I should have come more to the north that way and come round. I've been pushing for quite a while now. And, and I will be pushing up there. Yeah, starting to climb now, so I'm probably going to drop the bike for a minute and then start getting up there. Whoa, okay. And after a very sketchy path, full of boulders, the path widened out and I looked for somewhere to leave the bike.
okay leaving the back there I'm just grabbing her back to eat and just looking back at the view and where I've come from um, pull you right in the distance where the lock sea lock is and that's the road in the distance that comes into pull you just a quick note I'm going back where there's a bridge in the bottom there at that burn and going that way to them trees in the distance and back that way probably better coming that way if you're uh, biking and hiking and leaving the bike down at the bridge and not coming this way around I did start the climb now up we go into this small curry now and the path goes up there at an angle so I'll go and get stuck into that I was just thinking weather might be changing a little bit but fingers crossed it's getting blowy What a view! Look at that, Torridon Mountains. Just in the bottom there is Loch Marie, but you can't probably see on this camera. It's getting a bit blowy up here and cool now. Okay, get round that corner there. Turning the corner and heading south, leaving the shelter of the quarry, the wind really started to pick up. There she is, for sighting, yeehaw! Looking at the views over to the west, give me a real boost, a final push onto the summit. Ooh, I wasn't nearly there yet, blimey there. Every time you think you're there, there's one more bit to do. Yeah, but one shouldn't be jolly morning when there's views like that over there.
smack back in smack bang in front there's pool you where uh, I'm parked at the sea lock <laughs> it looks absolutely miles away Just before I hit the summit, I walked over to the west to have a good look down the long length of Loch Marie. Here's the summit. We made it. Wow, look at the view. Fian Lock on the left, the Fisher Field, and on the right, Loch Marie again, and the uh, Torridon Mountains in the distance. What a view. Sif and Miles, all the Munros. Look at that, and that's looking north, right out to sea. And I think I could just see Grunor Island in the far distance. You might not be able to see it on this camera. Wow, so clear. That one over there. I think Scotland's Mountain did that one as well. Quite a few years back, I remember seeing him do that. He went uh, back and hacking. Okay. Good video of that Merit. See you later, right? Better get down. It's getting really breezy up here. Yeah, I couldn't get any aerial footage up there, which is a shame really. Uh, people the wind was so windy, I put the drone up and off it went. It would go uh, start flying backwards. So luckily I got it back in sports mode. Whoa, that was quite a worry with that. No uh, filming here. Okay, I'm gonna get back down there now. Okay, so this is where I am now on the path. So I'm down in the bottom and this will be the path that I take back, so not too far. So that's it, it's just a track back now, back to pull you. so I hope you've enjoyed the mountains today and the views and right out to sea, it's been really good, I've really enjoyed it, so I'll leave you with some nice views of the Fisher Field and uh, thanks again for watching and hopefully I will see you on the next one, okay, bye for now. Yeah.